All right. Shalom, once again, it's your brother Kalav here to bring out a quick video lesson. But before I get started, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh. Kahala, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rahakadash. So I just want to go straight into the scripture. And uh, I kind of got inspired to do this video uh, based on the, uh, my last camp. Of course, you know, you know, inspired through elders and other brothers. And then also today, the Apostle Ramallah's lesson. And then also, I wasn't really going to even do a video. But I was inspired, kind of got inspired too, because I was approached while I was studying there at the Starbucks. I was approached by a pastor. He got, he was interested in seeing me. I had, you know, I had my, my iPad, the book, the Bible, Apocrypha, and me taking notes. He was interested in what I was doing. Of course, he was inquiring, and I just gave him a rough breakdown of what we believe. And see, Jake can't see it because they need to see in the scriptures that it says. You know, Mexicans are, are are from the tribe of Ishkar. He was like, well, it doesn't say that. I say, well, certain things aren't. You know, I try to give him the breakdown of in regards to Christianity, how we're, you know, we've been deceived. We, you know, where people robbed and spoiled and and took in, the knowledge has been taken away from us. And that what I'm telling him is that what we're teaching is, uh, we're teaching first of all the name of Yahabashim Yahshai, the correct name, and we're teaching our people who they are in regards to the scriptures. Uh, pertaining to the 12 tribes chart and I showed it to him so Jake really doesn't get it you know you have to have a spirit what I'm getting at is you have to have a spiritual eye this this divine instruction or divine knowledge has to be given from the heavens and only through that medium can you see this you know so that's why so many people have a hard time understanding this truth so with that I want to get Romans chapter 8 and 16 it says the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God and and yes, coming to the understanding, we always have an our people, our people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're the ones in these harlot houses. We are the ones taking directions from the so-called white man. You know, we're we're being we're trying to be taught. The white man's teaching is God, but he has nothing to do with it because our people are the true Israelites. So through the Spirit, we know that we are Israelites. We have an affinity to uh, to to a power, which is Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. So through the Spirit resonates that we are the Spirit, that we are the children of Israel, the children of God, for lack of better words. So I'm gonna continue to the Spirit. I don't want to talk. It'll be an edifying lesson. And uh, this is this is another scripture that tells you that the spirit is the the scripture is given, you know, through and through inspiration. Second uh, Timothy, chapter three and 16, it says all scripture is given by inspiration of, of Yahweh and is profitable for doctrine, reproof and correction for instruction and in righteousness. You have to have a spiritual mind. The spirit has to be dealing with you as you read the scriptures to be able to understand what it means, you know, and through that. You know, you can reprove and correct and instruction and in righteousness, you know, because it's righteous. It is righteous that we have that allowment to be able to see, you know, how about you gave his knowledge to his children, you know, and primarily to his elect. You know, that's who how about you is dealing with. That's another that's another lesson there. I don't want to desire to make sense in the end what I'm trying to get at. And uh, what I highly wanted to get at is the uh, book of Ephesians chapter one. This is a great book to read because this outlines. um the and this like i said this one correlates to the camp that i did uh yesterday in fresno or the day before in regards to the love that hamashak has bestowed upon us you know because we are chosen from the foundations of the earth and this is how about is speaking to his apostles i mean to yeah to his saints which is the elect uh first uh, uh ephesians chapter one verse one it says Paul, an apostle from Mashiach, Yahushai, by the will of Yahweh, this is his will to the saints, which is the elect men of the nation of Israel, the 144,000, which are an emphasis, or these are his prophets, which are, which is the elect as well, which are at emphasis and to the, and, and to the faithful in Hamashiach, Yahushai. So this is pertaining to the elect. Grace be unto you and peace from God, our Father, and from the Lord Hamashiach, Yahushai. Blessed be the God of God and Father of our Lord Hamashiach Yahweh who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach. So that's that's what was been granted. This this eye saw this 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 connection that we have with the Most High is 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 from the heavens, you know. And that's that inspiration has to be given to you, and it's not given to everyone. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go through this whole uh, this whole chapter. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, because it's relevant. And we'll see where I stop. It says, according as he had chosen us 
in him before the foundations of the world. He has chosen us from the beginning of the world that we would be holy without blame before him and love, having predestinated us, predestinated us unto the adoption of children of Hamashiach Yahushai to himself according to the good pleasure of his will, to praise praise to praise uh, the glory of grace wherein okay, okay I'm gonna jump uh to seven and this is this is that that price that we were bought with in whom we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to his grace and riches where we have where wherein he hath abound, abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence that's true so he has granted us and gave us the wisdom to understand the, the proper understanding of these scriptures having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he hath purposed in himself and that's kind of what i'm in the spirit and i'm reading and i don't have the breakdowns but i still somehow am able to describe it and, and be like yeah that's what that's talking about and then some somewhere down the line uh, uh elder will break it down and it's exactly uh what i was thinking it meant even though i didn't know what it mean but that was because of the spirit you have to use the spirit to read these scriptures Let me just continue. Yeah, so ultimately what I want to get is that this this, this knowledge is through a, a spiritually divine inspiration. Verse 13, in whom we also trusted after that he heard the word of truth, the gospel of our salvation, in whom also after that be, that he believed and were sealed with an holy spirit of promise. And I want to go to that, which made... Uh, I believe it's 18. It says, The eyes of our understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what are the riches of his glory, of his, of his inheritance in the saints, the elect, like I said. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us, to us, word who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wroth in Hamashiach when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand. In heavenly places, and I want I want to get principalities uh, from. Uh, I believe principalities has to do with like the common law, far above all principality and power. Let me look that up because that's the one I wanted to get. And that is also. Um, that, see, Yehovah Shimon Shai, that's why you, you can't, that's why, that's how we know, like, it's far beyond all the principalities, meaning, this is like I said, you know, the state of office or authority or principle, the position responsible of principle, the ter you know, like, um, your common laws of physics, your, your bounds that, you know, the, this carnal world has, you know, Yehovah Shimon Shai is far exceeding beyond that, you know. I'm just going to go back to the scriptures and continue to read. For far above all principality and, and power and mighty and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also also in that which is to come. And have put all things under his feet and gave him to be in head over all things in the church, which is the body and fullness of him in all. Okay, I'm going to just continue in the spirit. Um. It says Second Peter chapter three, twelve and fourteen. I mean second Peter chapter three, verse twelve through fourteen. It says, Looking so that's how the spirit, how we're dealing with the spirit, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day, when the heavens being fire shall dissolve, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, according to his promise, that's his promise that he's made to his children, all the things that are uh, prophesied to come. Nevertheless, according to his promise. Look for new heavens and earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness, wherein, beloved, seeing that ye look, seeing that ye look for such things, being diligent, that we may be found of him in peace without spot or blemish. And then there was a earnest expectations. I'm just going to put that in there. I 
that's the scripture I wanted to get. That's Yep. Romans chapter 8 and 19 through 22. It says, For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. And let me get you the definition of, of earnest because that's how that's how we're dealing with these scriptures. That it says uh earnest resulting from showing sincere and intense conviction. So we're truly convicted in how about you shot, which is a spiritual which is a spiritual calling, which is this is from this this connection, this um this fervency we have towards Hamashag Yahushua, like I said. It's a convention. It's, this says intense conviction. So that's ultimately the spirit, and we know that this this calling is is from from the heavens, for lack of better words. I'm gonna continue. I don't want to saw it. It just makes sense to. It don't make sense to the spiritual minded, you know. Even though my breakdowns aren't aren't the best, and you know, I'm trying to put something out here through the spirit, you know. Oh, so Romans chapter 8 and 19, it says, For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. I believe that's like when we when we were going to be translated to that actual that actual entity, the elect. Uh, it says, For the manifestation of the sons of God, that's the children of Israel. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Yep. The, and, you know, let me see if I can find that earnest expectations in Ephesians. I might have said uh, Ephesians. I believe it's in there. Con. Right there. Earnest expectations. Uh, Ephesians chapter 1 and 14 it says which is the earnest expectation of our inheritance into the redemption of the purchased possession unto the glory of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai so with that earnest expectation it says with, which is the earnest of our inheritance so with that fervency with that conviction of our inheritance that we are the children of Israel until the redemption of the purchased possession which is the children of Israel until Unto the praise of his glory, because that's how we're gonna that's how Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is gonna get his his glory through his children, you know, by us being redeemed. And all these things are gonna come to pass. And this is and this is why we hasten how we hasten the world to end and all these all these um all this tribulation and uh and destruction to come because we know that to the spirit we're going to be translated jeremiah 1 and 12 it says then said the lord unto me thou hast well seen for and that's uh, him giving us the eyes out for i will hasten my word to perform it and, and ultimately that means uh if you're if you're in tune with the scriptures and you, and you can uh, read between the lines and you have a spiritual mind and you've been granted that to the spirit and calling from the foundation of the, of the world and you've been given that election then you want this place you'll be in the right frame of mind and you want this place to be destroyed because why because you're going to be ultimately if you believe you know um you're a prisoner of hope and you you know you're hoping for that that uh for that mercy which is going to be granted to the elect so with that i want to give all honor and glory to yahweh kahala bashim yahushai bashim hakadosh uh double honor to the apostle greg milson who taught his truth and, and uh a double citation to the aki pushing his work in truth and sincerity i say shalom